Hey, welcome back to the shop that's not the shop. So some exciting things going on over there across the pond. Carveco has been working on some AI features for their software. Right now we're in the beta version and I was fortunate enough to be asked to test this feature out for them. So let's go over a few things. We won't get too detailed here because when the full version comes out there may be some changes so I don't want to go too deep into this and then have misinformation for you. So when you open up Carveco, this is what you're going to see. You're going to have a new line over here that says Generate with AI. Click on that and you'll be greeted with this screen. You have two options. You'll have Text to Relief and you'll have Image to Relief. Text to Relief is obviously just what it says. You'll type in text and you'll generate a relief. Image to Relief, you'll grab a photo, any photo you like, from anywhere you like within your computer pull it in and you can generate a relief that way. So let's go to text to relief and start with something simple. So let's go generate with text and then you're greeted with this screen here. On the right hand side this is where your images will appear once you create them. Your left hand side here in this area is where you will type in your text, your prompt as we call it. When you've typed in your prompt you'll hit generate image here. This is going to be a credit based system. We don't know what the um, costs for these credits and etc are going to be. Those will be announced when we announce or they go live. Down in the bottom here you've got some ideas that you can use. Every time you open this up you'll get these new ideas down here that'll help maybe spark some creativity if you're having a little bit of a mental block and you want to figure out how to move forward. So this guy over here on the left as you can see over here we've got a guy with a beard. If we click on that it gives us the prompt, a close-up of a hand-carved puppet of an old man facing forward on a solid background. Now, briefly and quickly, that's a pretty good description, a pretty good prompt. It's very specific. It's telling the computer what you're looking for. And when you click Generate, it will give you a pretty good image, a pretty good relief from that. So let's generate him. Now you're going to get four versions down here on the bottom that you can choose from. Once this is done, it only takes a minute. And there you are. We have four different versions of an old man facing forward on a solid background. Let's choose one of these guys. Let's go with this one here. And as you can see, it brings him over to this side. So if we're happy with this guy, we can generate a relief from that. Let's generate a relief by clicking on this. That'll use five credits. It takes a minute for the computer to generate it. And there you are. There's your old man just that quick. On the left side we've got three sliders. One is depth. As we grab that slider and we move it to the right, it gives more depth, as you can see, to the relief. If we grab the next one down, it's detail. Sliding to the right we can increase detail. Features such as a beard if he had one, or hair, etc. These are all judgment calls. These are all things that you'll do to your preference. And then down here we have this slider on the bottom that is zero plane. What that's going to do is it's going to remove all of this stuff around the outside. If I slide this one, I'll grab it, slide it to the right. You can see a line going across. It's moving the plane or the background away. If we continue too far, it'll absolutely remove the relief. So you don't want to go too far. You want to pay attention to what you're doing with this so that you don't lose any detail that you need. So if we started at zero and we went forward with it, the easiest thing to do is come in until you see that it's starting to remove the detail that you don't want removed and stop. If we scroll down, you can see that it says open new model in a new model or save to the clip art library. Anytime you're making a relief, I highly suggest you save it directly to your clip art library. As you can see, it opens up when you click. We're going to put an old man in here and it will save to an AI generated relief file. Now anytime you open up a new model in your Carveco software you can go to the 3D clip art library and that will be in there. Now once you bring this into a new model and you want to get rid of this it's very simple. Let me open up a new model. Alright we have it in the new model. You're going to choose whether you want it in inches or millimeters. I work in inches. Let's choose an arbitrary number, 12 by 12. We're going to click OK, and there's our old man. Now, the old man is clear everywhere, but you can see there's a line there that we have to get rid of because this will show up when we carve it, and we don't want that there. So if we go over to the line tool, click the line tool, left click 
don't release and drag a line all the way around coming back to but not touching release the button this is how I like to do this and then go over until we get the window so that you can join the vector once the vectors are joined slide up here to the top and you're going to use zero inside vector click that and you can see that it removed all of that don't click again push delete and it'll get rid of that vector when you're doing something close to your object slide way in like this start here off of your relief and then slowly bring your line in and go very carefully down around the side I'm not going to be too particular with this but the more particular you are the better the cut loose will be we can let go and back out now grabbing again sliding back around we're going to get rid of all of the top close to the line where we started get the window pushing the zero inside vector once more and as you can see it's cut it off you can proceed from there in adjusting the height of your relief with the scale relief tool out and in and that is the text to relief feature I'm not gonna go any deeper than that with this one okay back to the beginning here with generate with AI let's bring in a photo so generate with an image we're gonna browse here let's go to my pictures we'll see if we have anything worth bringing in here let's bring in say let's bring in this moose I've already done this once open there's the moose generate down here again we should see the mo moose show up on the right there's our relief just like that sliding this down again as we said before anytime you bring in a relief make sure you save it to your clip art library I've already done this what I would do now is open this in a new model and just like before I would run the line all the way around and clean everything up removing some of the zero to make it easier cut away this grass that's hanging from his lip I actually cut this loose over here by his ear so it looked better but that there is how you convert a photo to relief. This is so simple. It's an incredible, incredible update, and there'll be more to follow. So I hope you learned something here. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're as excited about this as I am. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.